to another great episode of Facts and Stats. We appreciate all of our supporters that we had over the past couple of months. We are now on episode 26. If this is your first time watching, feel free to like, comment, but most importantly, subscribe. And give us all feedback on how you think our previous episodes are, but most importantly, how this episode is. We got a lot of hot things to talk to you all about. We have the usual host on the show, me, Everett, King, Marcus, and Q. And we're just here to give y'all great content and our sports thoughts and our facts and stats today. So to go ahead and to get started, we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to talk about Anthony Davis. Big shot last night. Game winner over Marcus Mann, Nikola Jokic, and the Lakers take a 2-0 series lead. So before we talk about that game, I got a question for y'all. Do y'all think Anthony Davis is LeBron's best teammate ever? Yeah. That was you, Q? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Best teammate ever. Elaborate. Um, well, Anthony Davis is LeBron's only teammate that could pick up the low for him offensively and huh? like hold no, no no and and hold the low defensively. So do both at the same time. I know D Wade, D Wade, he was LeBron's you know, second man, and he was able to hold it down, and Chris Bosh and Chris Bosh offensively, but neither of them have the defensive impact that Anthony Davis has from the perimeter and inside the paint. You know, he and then he he hitting big shots, he's scoring, he's scoring, he has a face up game. It's just it's so many so many different aspects to Anthony Davis' game that that his that LeBron's other teammates didn't have. And I feel like I feel like it's another step that Anthony Davis can hit within the next hold on. year. Okay, two. hold on, hold on, hold on. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a lot of things that Anthony Davis has that LeBron other star teammates that he played with didn't have. That's what you just said, correct? Yeah. Like what? Besides being rim able, protection, like what? Rim protection, being able to uh the pick and roll game between A D and LeBron. Um, Kyrie and AD, Kyrie and LeBron pick and roll game was pretty good if you ask me. I don't think it's better than Anthony Davis because Anthony Davis is just this man. This man touch around the rim is just crazy, and the fact that he could do all that around the rim and put some work in on the perimeter. Okay, well, Mark, talk to me. Who you think is the LeBron best teammate ever? His best teammate ever would probably be D Wade. Yeah, I'm going to go with D-Wade just because D-Wade showed him a lot of things on and off the court. Um, they made him a better player, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Offensive-wise, D-Wade could do his thing. Uh, defense, D-Wade could do his thing. I, I feel like him him together with LeBron was just too much for a lot of a lot of teams. So, I'm going to go with D-Wade. Respect. Kane, talk to me. Of course it's D-Wade. Like, D Wade definitely got a championship for you know Brian got there just like Mark said he helped him get over get over the hump, mm-hmm. taught him some things or whatever like because he had been there before, mm-hmm. and you got to think about it. D Wade is arguably number three shooting guard all time if you want to argue that. Mm-hmm. Like prime D Wade was nothing to play with at all. Offensively, defensively, D Wade was that man. So yeah, that's what I'm going with. But it, it's no debate with me. It, it, it. Well, see, the thing with D-Wade, D-Wade in the playoffs, other than the first season, he never averaged more than 25. Like, this AD, like this, this AD second second playoffs. Yeah. AD, yeah. I mean, D-Wade ain't, even, D-Wade ain't even do it. Besides that first year in Miami, but yeah, every twenty-five point five AD is giving you like close to thirty and ten. Okay, but he still his first first significant playoff run. He's doing look look what he's doing in his very first significant playoff run. How can this be his first playoff run with LeBron? Are you saying he his best LeBron, his best teammate ever already? Right. When 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 LeBron uh Wade went to four straight finals, LeBron and Curry went to like two three straight finals. Yeah. And D Wade won before LeBron even got there. And LeBron sold Wade in 2011. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, but D Wade didn't is not doing anything. <laughs> D Wade is not doing anything that's better than what AD is He's doing not. right now. He hasn't done D Wade in the playoffs. In the playoffs, D Wade hasn't done anything better. Than what AD is doing right Let now. Let me help you. AD Let is literally giving you thirty and ten a night, and he's holding down the defense like right. nobody, like no other LeBron teammate has ever done. Let me help you out right now. Let me explain to you why, Q. And this is this should end the argument. LeBron is thirty five years old, correct? Yes, LeBron's thirty five. When LeBron years old. first went to Miami, he was 26, 25, correct? Correct. That means he is still in his prime, correct? I mean, LeBron. LeBron is thirty-five. Really he's thirty-five right now. AD is like 27, 28. He knows. LeBron AD's prime the... never really stopped. LeBron's. You could argue that LeBron just still in his prime. He's average. Like you, you can... see what LeBron do. He he had a, a okay game last night, but like he still he still LeBron. Saying, he's never stopped being LeBron. I'm saying though, who do you you telling me LeBron don't think this team is gonna go as far as AD takes him? Back in Miami day, LeBron was thinking this team is going to go as far as I, I take them because Wade literally gave LeBron the keys. Right. Like LeBron is giving AD the keys. That's all it is. Look here. No D. Wade. Mm. I don't think LeBron was winning a championship. Oh, no. Not at all. Not at all. I think LeBron could have got somebody else in a championship. LeBron would have won a championship eventually if he was getting a team with D. Wade. There's plenty of people he could have teamed up with back then. Like who? Like who? He could have went to the Bulls. He could have. I'm not gonna say okay. LeBron wouldn't have won the ring, but it wouldn't have been. It would have took a little longer. Right. Yeah, because D Wade. I mean, uh, Dev Rose is hurt a lot. So like, you know, the Bulls mm-hmm. are not. Mm. I mean, you never know because the East has LeBron was in the East. The East has been a weaker conference. LeBron made it to the finals with a weak Cavs team. Like that Cavs team was terrible, and he made it to the finals. So. He's, he's, he could have went to other teams and made it to the finals. And if you in the finals, you got a chance to win. Okay, respect. I mean, okay. I guess that's. I guess that's it for that topic. You think? I mean, I, I mean, look, I'm not I'm mad. Really, at, I'm not I'm mad really at D Wade. Really. I, I respect D Wade. I'm gonna just go ahead and say that because you already know how people is on the internet. Oh, <laughs> oh you're so disrespectful. Oh. Right. I respect D Wade. I just, I'm just looking at what Anthony Davis is doing, and. It finally feel like LeBron got, like, got that other that other piece. Are like, you serious? So what year? I mean, what year is Anthony Davis in right now? I think Anthony Davis is in year like uh, eight, eight, nine, seven, eight, something like that. Nine. Yeah, and this and is his first do? playoff. His real first playoff run for real. Right. He went this far. Right. So, nah, I don't want to hear it. What was what, his first playoff with the Pelicans? What was he doing? That's irrelevant. He got swept, right? That's irrelevant. But he also swept the Blazers, too, though. Let's not act like, you know, he, he got swept by the Warriors, though. Come on, man. Yeah, he got swept by the Warriors, the <laughs> champions. <on> and then <laughs> who else? Who he had on that team? Etwan Moore and whatnot? I mean, but you literally just said... LeBron finally feel like he got that piece. He should have been feeling like he had that right, piece right. when him and Kyrie was dropping 40. Yeah, you right. Come on now. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like D-Wade does way more. Of course, Kyrie was putting up 40, you know, putting up points in the 40s. But AD is giving you 30 double-digit rebounds. He's a big and man. the defense. The def- yeah, the, a big man that could do everything. Like, he... He does so much. He covers so many aspects of it besides, you know, scoring and just guarding your man. He really is like the anchor for our defense that's been top two. You know, I think it's the best defense in the league. Okay. All right, respect. We're going to go ahead and take it to the next topic. Um, Last night, Sunday night football, we seen the Patriots play a hell of a game against the Seahawks, but ultimately came up short. Um, Russell Wilson, of course, had another good game. And I just want to know, is Russ the early MVP front runner to you guys? Although, you know, it's only been two games in the season, but off of, like, how he's been looking. Yes. 100% yes. That's the MVP, man. I'm going with him. Five touchdowns, I'm going with Russ, man. He, he looks like he's ready for another Super Bowl run. This might be the year. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. It, they defense got to step up, though. That defense be getting torched. Hey, hey, Adams, uh, uh, Adams, he he been doing all right. Adams can't cover everybody. He can't, but 
We've been a great asset. I ain't gonna hold you already. And then, and then they they was getting the points put up by New England receivers. So imagine when you go against some world receivers. Hey, but Cam was throwing a nice ball yesterday. Cam was throwing a nice ball. Yeah, he was throwing. He was throwing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over three, over three hundred ninety-seven yards. So mm-hmm. my my only thing about the MVP, I hate that. Although Lamar, Lamar won it last year, I hate that quarterbacks are always like the front runners to get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I right. really hate that. You know because like. It's just uh, Russ. If he keeps it up all season, you know. Um, although I do want to see Lamar go back to back, but it's probably gonna be Russell Wilson. Also, gotta look out for Kyler Murray, um, Josh Allen. You know, uh, mm-hmm. they balling right now. But ultimately, it's probably is gonna go down to Russell Wilson. But last year, like Michael Thomas and Christian McCaffrey made some strong cases. Although Lamar did as well too. But like, how does Julio never not win the MVP? You know what I'm saying? Um, Wish a wild people would get it. All right. Yeah, I feel it's probably the best who whoever end up with the best record out of all the top QBs. Probably that's who what it seems like it is every year. True. Uh, sometimes, but sometimes football is different. Going crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what was just going crazy last year. Yeah, because football, how they base it with the football is like you can base it off the winning, you know, winning season or whatever, but sometimes you can have a, a, a subpar season, make it to the playoffs, you can still win MVP. It's not really how, like, the NBA is where, of course, they look at the uh, the top three teams or the number one team, you know, then we're going to pick him as the MVP. NFL is highly different. But yeah. at the same time, with the quarterbacks, I need I, – I really would like them to stop being biased, just just going straight quarterback every every exactly. single year. Exactly. And then, then once in the blue moon, it's a receiver or a running back. And I see how they try to put it with the the AP offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year. Like, come on, yeah. man. Just, like, I like that too, but I would love to see a defensive player with MVP too. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Like like the year J.J. Watt and or Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald was supposed yeah. to win. Hey, yeah, so it was like, come on, man. Okay, okay. Well, shout out to Russell Wilson. Hope the Seahawks keep balling. Um, oh, yeah. Hopefully they see the Ravens in the Super Bowl. No mm-hmm. offense, King. <laughs> yeah, they got to get through us, huh? That's on. <laughs> All I gotta say, I gotta get through us. Russell uh, do it before you do it again. <laughs> the next topic, the Giants, um, heart crushing. Wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. Before you go to the next topic, I just want, like, I just pulled it up. I'm looking, and the last, the last like non quarterback to win MVP, I think, was back in '06 with Ladanian Thompson on the Chargers, which that's that's crazy. That was a hell of a year too. Yeah, yeah that was hell of a year. But it's crazy, nah. like to like further like add to y'all point. It's crazy really? how they really like go to a quarterback every no no no. I lied, I lied. And yeah, Adrian, Adrian Peterson. Yeah, yeah in two thousand twelve. I lied. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's like what, like eight years ago. Mm-hmm. So yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah. So it's two times in the last uh fourteen years. So yeah, they need to they need to share the love because it's all quarterbacks on this list. For the most part. I'll be mm-hmm. complaining. I'll be speaking out. Forget all that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll be speaking right. out, but where I was headed to, um, the next topic, Giants lose Saquon Barkley for the year. Um, towards ACL yesterday, that didn't look like it was that bad of an injury, like, on how it happened. But, Mark, you know, that's your team. We're going to go ahead and start with you. Like, how how that hit for you? You know, how you feel about that? I mean, it's an early, early injury, week two. So, I'm going to drive, like, sad by, you know. I can't really say too much. I just hope we get healthy ASAP, man. Hopefully, he can come back stronger next year. So, uh, Sheldon Shepard, yeah, Sheldon Shepard hurt his uh, foot too, so it's we're going down pretty early. I don't really, I so, pretty much, you just embracing the tank this year. I guess so. We might as well get. I'm about to say. We <laughs> find I'm another round of three of us. Um, I don't know. Respect, respect. Um, K and Q, any thoughts on that? Thank you. Uh, I mean, outside of Saquon, too. I don't like like how this is going down because it's too many injuries. I was just about to say, outside of Saquon, too, we can speak on a lot of other uh, things that happened on week two. You know, we've seen McCaffrey get hurt, uh, Corlin Sutton, Nick uh, Nick Bosa, you know. It's just Um, week two was a very, very bad week in the NFL. Um, And that brings us to our next topic, Um, NFL week two thoughts. What's some of y'all thoughts on week two, you know, like, Games that made y'all most happy, um, upsets that surprised any upsets, probably in your opinion, that surprised you. Things like just any any injuries in general. Hey man, Cowboys just need to go pay Dak. That's all I gotta say. Go ahead, pay Dak. I like that. I like that. I like that. 
it feel good for you to see you even to see you even come out and say that because like that was a hell of a game right there. Like he showed a tremendous fight effort and he got the job done. Yeah, go ahead and pray that man, bro. It's he didn't lose too much in his life. You got you got to pray that man. Mm-hmm. So I hear that. I ain't the one to be like, yeah, you know, if somebody loses their job or whatever. But Dan Quinn, you, like, it's, it's too many times where you just blow a 20 point lead. Like, <laughs> you gotta go. And you gotta go. So I'm like, it's the same thing every time, bro. I'm like, how you up that much and you just blow it? Uh, like, how did that happen? Really it's V Julio. I don't understand. No, V right Julio hamstring was bothering him. Yeah. So he was already out the game, really. But it's like you keep running the ball. So I'm like, you let that D-line scare you out of running the ball, which, like, running the ball is what got you up that much. So, and then pass to, of course, of course uh, Calvin really. Yeah, but really, yeah. I think it really hurt him with Julio because, like, the hamstring bothered him. And plus, he couldn't be the decoy for real as much because now all right, he barely playing. So we're going to officially lock in on Calvin really, like it ain't nothing. And then you just keep forcing the ball, like you keep putting the ball in Matt Ryan's hands. I'm like, you know, Matt Ryan that built for that. Like you get all you all them yards when it come down to crush time in that fourth quarter, yeah, he folds all the time. And then as far as like who surprised me, of course, you know, I gotta represent my boy Aaron Jones. You know, 200, 200 all purpose yards, uh, like two, three touchdowns. Yeah, I think he had three in total. Yeah, three in total, three in total, man. You know, he surprised me, so you know, he 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 leading <laughs> Russia. I know it's week two, but he, he leading Russia, man. That he gonna he gonna show this season why he might be the top three running back since you know Saquon out and Christian. Even though he's my fantasy team, I hope he get better and all that. You know he, he gonna he gonna show y'all why he in the top three. Man. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So if you think he's top three, where would he be though? Like who would be that top two with him? I was about to say, of course Zeke number one. Yeah, I put Zeke number one. Uh, number two, but you could put CMC, okay. and then uh, I, I I put AJ. I, I I put AJ in three. Man. Right there, okay. I respect that. I put AJ in three. That's man. over some dogs. That's over Kamara. That's over some dogs. But but I always said though, because you know, like his first couple of seasons, you know, riddled with injuries. But I said mm-hmm. healthy, he is going to be a monster. Yeah, and with Mike McCaw. Yeah, Mike McCarthy ain't know how to use him for real. So when LaFleur came in, he said, I'm going to come in and base his office around you. And he's been shining since. And, he, and he's going to go up for me. Okay. Q, talk to me. Any NFL, NFL yeah. Week 2 thoughts? Um, Yeah, man. My uh, my Cardinals still undefeated. 2-0. <laughs> it feels like good. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm done with it. it. It feels so good to, like, to look at a team and see them do good. I ain't feel that so- feeling. So that don't seem like, fake to you, though? It don't seem like you're showing fake love? No, yeah. it don't. We got to ride with the wheels. So you got to ride to the wheels for a while, man. <laughs> yeah, and, and the wheels <laughs> fell off for the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't, like, I'd stay if they had some type of direction or anything or showed any type of progress. They tried. Like, year after year. They, shot, they signed Lady it's on like, They signed CJ Mosley. They tried. But it's, it's, yeah, it's not but it's that. Just like we still, like we still end up sucking every single time. It's like we take a step forward and take three steps back. Like why every coach we get is a bozo? Why they? Why? Why one second we got you know a good looking defense, and then the next year we just end up losing all the pieces, and now we even worse. It's just it's no it's no direction it's it's like an infinite loop of just trash like so i don't feel no type of way because i i picked the team i didn't want to pick anybody that was already too good mm-hmm. i didn't want to pick anybody that i didn't really know nothing about like i i already been rocking with larry fitz and and deandre hop a little bit and i like and you know kyler murray he cool on madden so i was just He's like i'm just i'm just i'm just rocking boys i'm just rocking boys, I'm just rock with them boys. Okay, but now I, I can say this with the Jets because Adam Gates is terrible. I don't yeah, know why he's a head coach. Horrible. And worst of worst of all, he's G E I G M. So like, and, and he always had a bad history, even with the Dolphins or whatever. Like, he don't connect with the players. He really do. He don't know what he be doing. So it was like he better off just being a coordinator and just stay there. Not a lot of people are meant to be a head coach, especially a GM. Facts. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, my week two thoughts. You know. I just want to wish a speedy recovery to everybody that got hurt this week. Um, 
the list goes on and on and on and on and on. A lot of star players at that too. So the game lost a lot of dogs this past weekend, man. Um, Ravens another victory over the Texans. Um, the Ch- the Chargers. I want to shout out the Chargers too because they're giving the Chiefs Justin Herbert a way to step in as a rookie and get the Chiefs a hell of a run. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That was a good game. Um, also, mm-hmm. it's a little short, but that's that's that was a game that I was you know definitely tuned in on. So right, that was a great game for me. Um, that's good. You chipped in on your thoughts, yeah. Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he started. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, one more thing I want to say about like the injuries, real quick before we run out of time on the episode, is it's crazy how. The NFL is showing how they don't give a rat a rat's ass about their players because they didn't let them have a, you know, a sufficient training camp, and now it's showing. And now players are going to miss out on games. They're going to miss out probably on money because the NFL contracts be having all type of, all type of stuff in it, to I- where like they could they could not give you your money if you get hurt. They're going to miss out on possible incentives and all type of other stuff. I do blame the NFL too. Why? Because the NFL, the NBA season shut down in like March and it didn't resume until uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, uh like July. Yeah. July, yeah. Dude, between that time period, that's when like OTAs are about to start. You know, NFL should have been had something in the works. You know, something in the plan. Mm-hmm. Work. Teams didn't mm-hmm. have a legit training camp and they already skipped preseason. So now all that sh- is just coming right back on them. Like injuries. Right. Just exactly. Instead of trying to rush to meet the. You know, to meet the September date or whatever, they they if they weren't ready, they should have just pushed it back. But no, right. they don't care that much about their players. And like this is another example. Because why would you even why would you even do that? You like y'all know, like y'all sports, y'all got all type of sports medicine specialists. Y'all know that training camps and all that is necessary to prevent injury. Y'all just decided not to do it. That's a fact. That's a fact. Mm-hmm can't just get up and play 15 minutes a quarter and just think you're going to be good with a couple practices. Right. right? <laughs> oh, exactly. Cool. And, it's only, and it's only week two. Right. Right. I always say week two is the most dangerous week in the field because <laughs> that's when the injuries yeah. start kicking in. So, um, one last thing before someone someone wraps it up. I hope that all the Saints and Raiders players tonight stay healthy. Um, no bad injuries upon them. And just good luck to both teams tonight. We running out of time. I'm going to say this quick. Like, subscribe, send it to somebody. Follow everybody. Ads on the screen. Um, Leave a like, subscribe, send it to somebody. Say it one more time, and we out. All right, we out. All right.